Welcome back to Listen, I Have an Idea. My name's Heidi and happy November 1st to everybody celebrating NaNoWriMo 2024. I was not planning on participating this year. I have a stacked month, both personally, professionally. I'm going to be traveling at the end of the month. I have no time to be participating in anything other than my regular activities. But yesterday, Atlantic Raven left a comment on my end of last year's NaNoWriMo Day 30 video asking if I would be participating this year. And I had to leave the most devastating reply saying that unfortunately, due to other commitments, I will not be participating this year. But I'm cheering everybody on from the sidelines. The guilt ate at me all day yesterday after I replied all day today it was all I could think about how can I possibly squeeze NaNoWriMo into my already packed November and you know what we're just gonna go for it that's it sleep what's that <laughs> we will not be having any of that this month I'll sleep on the plane on the way to my destination but you know what we're gonna have fun and that's what it's all about let's talk about the plan then this year we're gonna be calling it NaNoWriMo ASAP meaning I need to get this done as soon as possible we're gonna have some hopefully really long word days some pretty big writing sprints to do I'm hoping I can get everything done within 15 days that's the goal 50,000 words 15 days if I need to push it to 20 days we'll see we'll cross our bridge when we get there what am I gonna be writing that's probably your next question. I have no idea. Since I wasn't planning on doing it, I don't have any plans. I don't have any book ideas, chapter outlines, characters, nothing. So what I think in the last couple hours when this guilt has just been getting to me, I think I'm going to finish up Paging Dr. Lonely because I have a couple chapters left in that. Paging Dr. Lonely was a project that I've been working on for the past two NaNoWriMo's. Yes, I know two years I've been working on it and I'm still not done. That's what this month is for. I also have a couple other projects from other NaNoWriMo's that I may want to jump into, may want to revisit. Campus Crush from my NaNo 2020 I think is a project that I may work on a little bit this month. I just need to get 50,000 words done on some kind of fiction project. I also have other ideas for maybe new projects I want to start and probably never finish. Who knows what's going to happen? All we know is that we are going to try very hard to get this done. Before we get into the first couple writing sprints though, you may be asking about these videos. What's going to happen? I'm going to try to make a video every day until I am completed my 50,000 words. And unfortunately, once I finish, that's it. So this is going to be hopefully the quickest NaNoWriMo. And unfortunately for you, probably only a couple videos long. Without further ado, for the first time this month, let's get writing. All right, so I have decided I'm going to be working on my NaNoWriMo 2020 project, which is Campus Crush. Why? Because Paging Dr. Lonely is a little bit too much for me to dive into at this moment. I tried. I went through and I read a little bit and I thought, mm, I need to get my ideas in line to continue working on that project. But Campus Crush, I think I can get at least 2,000 words today and be okay with that. So I have gone into the document. I'm in here right now. I reset the project statistics by taking my chapters folder out of the manuscript. So now when I click manuscript, there's nothing in here. So we are going to go in, we're going to add a new folder, and then we're going to put... Nano, oh my goodness, as you can tell, I am nervous. Nano 2024. There we go. And now in this folder, oh my goodness, we are going to add, it's not even going to be chapter 13, as you can see right here. I'm just going to kind of go where the flow takes me. So let's call it chapter one. Open this up and let's get started. It's been about an hour since I first started. We're doing really well. The only thing I'm having difficulty with so far is the names of the characters. It's been four years since I worked on this project. And while I have gone back over the years and like reread certain parts, I don't remember certain characters' names. I do remember the basic plot line of the story. I never actually told you guys what the plot line of the story is. Basically, super simple. Um, college girl falls in love with the college guy. They're studying law in Boston not at Harvard though. It was based on a dream that I had of this one random little scene where I saw the two characters interacting and I thought this would be a cute story. But the characters I am having such a hard time remembering their names. I do have a couple on the side of my screen as you could probably see just a couple of the characters listed out but those are the main characters and their family members not the friends or like the random characters that we run into. For now all I do as a filler is I write the descriptor of the character so boss 
PROFESSOR in all caps. That way I can go back through afterwards and just type in the word BOSS in all caps and my little search and find will find it and I can replace it with the proper name. All right, I want to get to 2,000 words today. I definitely think we can get there before 10 p.m. That's the goal. We have a little under 800 words left to go so we can meet that goal today. Let's do it. I'm not Okay, it is currently 10.16 and I am done writing for the day. I was hoping to be done a little bit earlier, but you know what? I'm very happy with the progress so far. I've completed two full chapters. They're not the prettiest chapters. I didn't include a lot of proper punctuation. There's a lot of spelling mistakes, a lot of grammar mistakes, but you know what? We got the words on the page. We ended the writing sprints today with 2,533 words. I'm so pleased with that for the first day. And not only that, but only a couple hours worth of writing. Perfect. That is a very solid first day. Chapter one, we ended up writing 1,083 words. It's a little bit of a smaller chapter, but I'm okay with that. Chapter two is at 1,450 words, a little bit of a beefier chapter, but I'm liking the way that it's going so far. In this writing, I'm basically rewriting all of Campus Crush from what I remember, changing it up a little bit because I had a few other routes that I wanted to explore. Will this end up in a final version? Who knows? That remains to be seen. But you know what? There are words on a page and I'm happy with it. Now it is time to do the part that I've been putting off, which is announce my project on the NaNoWriMo website and then update my words for the day. All right, we're on the website. Let's add the new novel. We are calling it Project ASAP because we need to get these words done as soon as possible. I will not be adding a cover today. That will come in a few days time. For the first time this year, let's update these words. So we are at 2533. I am feeling really good about this. On a laptop. When did I start? Let's put 830. Okay. And there we go. My first update of the year. We have done it. We have completed day one of NaNoWriMo. Who knows what this month has in store? I am along for this quick journey. Hopefully you guys will be as well. If the videos are not regular, I do apologize in advance, but we're going to try to do this as best as we can. Please let me know in the comments down below how your day one of NaNoWriMo went, what you were writing this year, and what your goal is. Are you going to achieve the 50,000 words? Let me know in the comments down below. We'll talk about it in tomorrow's video. And we're going to be cheering everybody on in the comments of all the videos this month. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. And until then, happy writing. Bye. In case you're wondering, Lizzie is doing super great. She is now 12 years old. Yes, she's lethargic because it's late and she is tired. For Halloween this year, she wanted to be a unicorn because she started to grow a little wart on the top of her head. But yes, she's my special girl.